Now let's talk about inheritance. Inheritance is a crucial concept in object-oriented programming, allowing programs to extend their functionality, uh, separate code, reduce dependency, and increase code reusability. In Solity, multiple contracts can inherit features from a single contract with the inheriting contract referred to as the, the right contract and the contract from which features are being created referred to as the base contract or a parent contract. The inheritance in Solity is limited to public and internal modifiers. I mean, the right contract can access all not private members, including the state variables and internal methods. Function overriding is allowed if the function signature remains the same. And calling a super contracts function can be done using either the super keyword or the super contract name. And in cases of multiple inheritance function calls, using super gift difference to the most uh, derived functions. Generally, special solidity provides various types of inheritance, making it a a uh, versatile feature for smart contract programming. Now we're going to talk about uh, these different uh, types of inheritance. So one type of inter inheritance that we have is a single or single level inheritance, uh, which is a type of uh, inheritance uh, where the functions and variables of one base contract are inherited to only one derived contract. This feature helps to maintain the modularity of code, also reduces uh, code redundancy in a single inheritance. A derived contract can access all non-private members the base contract, including the state variables and internal variables. Take a look at two examples here. The first one here is basically shown on a parent contract. It's called parent contract or shall call set sum. Initializes uh, it's the state variable internal sum. And uh, we have a child contract whose the syntax to show that. It's inherited by the parent contract. It has a function called get sum, which returns the value of the state variable that the parent contract has. As you can see, the parent contract didn't have this function. So um, the child contract is kind of containing its own function. So if we had like another contract called color contract, we could actually make an instance of the child contract like this. And then use our term to generate an instance. We can use the dot operation to call this functions. As you can see here, we could uh, call those sets and get some functions on the child contract as it inherits the parent's function as well. Let's talk about another type of inter inheritance called multi-level inheritance. It's actually a type of inheritance in to where a child contract derived from a parent can also act as a parent for the contract which is derived from it. It has levels of the relationship between the parent and child contracts. And then in contrast to single inheritance, multi-level inheritance involves a chain of inheritance. Let's take a look into an example. So here we have parent contract A. It has a bunch of state variables and a function called get A. And another contract 
we, the child of A, inherits all state variables of its parents. It also has its own state variables and has a functional called get B that is the syntax that we explained, I mentioned earlier. We also have a child I track C derived by B. And as you can see, we can make an instance C S and call get A R C and get B R C and uh, get C R C. An example of multi-level inheritance. The next type of inheritance we have is called hierarchical inheritance. In hierarchical inheritance, uh, we have a type of inheritance which a parent contract has multiple child contracts. It is used when there is a common functionality that needs to be used in different cases. So here we have contract A, contract B, which is inherited by A, contract C, which is inherited by A again. And as you can see, they both have two unique functions for themselves that actually makes it possible to have like little modifications to the functionality of the contract here in two different ways. As you can see here, uh, we create two instances of B and C, and we can all those two different options and these two instances of B and C.